It might be summer, but the learning never stops in Dallas ISD, and we are extremely excited today because today we are at the Environmental Education Center. How are you doing, Mark? Great. How are you? Great. So will you show us around what this facility is? And you have a summer camp going on here, right? Yes. We have a uh, summer science enrichment program happening right now. Uh, it started last week, and it will end next week. Um, this is our main building, which is the museum. So right now we are in what we call the globe room because of our giant globe. Uh, students can learn about earth science concepts uh, with this um, and there's other exhibits on display. Uh, we're lucky enough to have an Omni Globe right now uh, for our students to use this summer. What is an, what's an Omni Globe? An Omni Globe uh, is an interactive globe that will show you um, all sorts of things. So it doesn't even have to be planet Earth. I can change this to Mars. Um, if you want to study the solar system, then all the rest of the planets are available. Or it even will show um, some geology concepts, like you know what the Earth was like 30 million or 300 million years ago. So it could do, I mean, I could go on and on about what this thing could do, but it, it does uh, a lot. So it's a great teaching tool for the students. That's amazing. What's, that, what's on the walls back here? Uh, we have a mural of different scientists. Um, who have really contributed to environmental science since we are the Environmental Education Center. And students will learn about each of these scientists, a little history about them, and uh, what they contributed to, um, to environmental science. Can you show us around some more? Yeah. Yep. So we're heading into Habitat Hall. It uh, models a forest ecosystem, um, which you can see with these trees right here. The uh, grassland or prairie ecosystem. I want to go in the grassland. We take us through the grassland. Yeah. So you can see, you know, the plants and animals that uh, live in the grassland, which we do have um, naturally out here. This is more of the forest area. So you can see our giant tree that the kids love to uh, interact with with little hidden doors, and also they can go inside there and. Uh, discover what lives uh, in and around our trees out here. Uh, and then as we keep going around, there's a little fossil dig area right down there for students to learn about fossils indoors. We also have a fossil pavilion outdoors for them. And then this aquarium models our freshwater pond ecosystem. But we also have ponds and uh, you know real fresh water for students to, to interact with outside. And so this is a Dallas ISD facility, right? Yes. And so what is this used for throughout the school year? Uh, students in pre-kindergarten through 12th grade will come out here on field trips to learn about uh, environmental science, uh, earth and space science, life science. And so they, they come out for the day, do a, a field investigation program um, where they learn about uh, really the outdoors and nature. and. Um, and take that back and build on it at their school. And so it's like really hands-on learning it looks like over yes, here. Yes, all hands-on. Uh, we get outdoors as often as possible because you know students just don't get these chances to get outside in nature very often especially if they're you know in the city of Dallas. And so you talk a little bit about the camp going on. Can you tell us a little bit more about the camp happening here this week? Yeah, um, we have a group of about 125 fourth graders uh, they're out here with five different teachers, so they'll spend three days with each teacher. One of them, um, kind of over, right over there, is our entomologist, so they will collect insects and uh, create an insect collection that they get to take home. Ian, you can finish it when we're done. Uh, we have another teacher who's the um, kind of the naturalist. He takes them out to a uh, freshwater pond, and they do, they do limnology and also study the biodiversity of the pond. Another teacher is our geologist, so she takes them to a fossil pavilion where they hunt for real fossils that we've collected here in Texas, and they'll find fossils of things like shark teeth and crinoids. Another teacher who is uh, more of a botanist, uh, so they'll study plants with her. And then another teacher is kind of a biologist, they study mostly animals with her. So they get a real variety in, a, in just a three week period of, of the sciences and all of them involve both indoor and outdoor activities. That's great. So I think um, after they get done taking photos, do you think we could see them in action, what they're up to? Uh, can I do a quick water break? Um, but then we're sniffing outside a little bit. Okay. Or, yeah. Can y'all stand in front around for a few minutes? Yeah.
you they're just yeah. getting out a couple minutes. Yeah. So I guess we're we're interrupting I think a, a live photo shoot right now. So once they get involved, so I think they will have I believe yep. some nests like this. Can you yes. show us can you show us how it will work? Yeah, yeah. So okay. they will go out and I'll come with you. So really I mean let's be honest, the photo op is important to take home with you. They yeah. <laughs> they they're making memories that they'll never forget. <laughs> So, okay, so how does this work? Just gonna walk it through the grass. Yeah. So this is awesome. So kids get to come out and do this? <laughs> oh yeah, yep. And then they will put them in a kill jar, um, which kills them humanely, yeah. and pin them uh, and make an insect collection so they'll classify the bugs and uh, talk about how they're adapted to survive in nature. Did you get one? I got one! I got one! Ah, it flew away. <laughs> I would like the record to show that we got one. Yes. And so this is amazing. So stuff like this is going on throughout the year and this summer. Yep, yep. And there are more summer camps going up, right? Yeah, we have a uh, science discovery camp happening after this camp and also an environmental science day camp happening, happening uh, two days in July. That's amazing. So, so a lot of activity out here. Hey guys, this is just one of many examples of summer camps going on. Um, you can check our website for more information. Really learning does get out in the field. And to close us out, if y'all want to get some uh, video of the, uh, of the students in action collecting bugs. They're much better at it than we are. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> for the record, are not professional <laughs> bug collectors, but we try. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This was a great time out in the Environmental Education Center. Check in next week as we visit another summer camp. Here's one more look, everybody. Everybody say bye to the camera. Bye. 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 Bye.